a plants perform only photosynthesis all the plants can perform the photosynthesis and all the plants can prepare their own food no few of the plants they depends on other plants also and they perform a bit interesting modes of nutrition those are called other modes of nutrition of plants what are that other modes now we will see the first mode of nutrition which is performed by the plants quite irrelevant to the autotrophic nutrition that is parasitic mode of nutrition few of the plants they cannot prepare their own food because they have reduced leaves due to that reduced leaves they cannot perform the photosynthesis and they depends on other plants for their nutrition and the plants which provide nutrition to these plants are called host and these parasitic plants have a special roots special roots called hostoria by this hostoria they suck the nutrients from the host plant due to the sucking of nutrients by this plants the host plants will be in danger so that's why this mode of nutrition is called parasitic mode of nutrition the best example for this parasitic mode of nutrition is cascuta and the next mode of nutrition that is saprophytes this is an interesting aspect have you seen mushrooms any time yes mushrooms are fungus which exhibit a saprophytic mode of nutrition they do not have chlorophyll to prepare the food in that's why they'll absorb the nutrients from dead and decaying matter they'll secrete some interesting substances that means some enzymes they will secrete some enzymes with the help of that enzymes they will digest the food substances especially dead and decaying matter in the form of in the liquid form and after that that liquid form they will absorb through their body surfaces absorption of liquid nutrients through their body surfaces is called saprophytic mode of nutrition and here the best examples for this saprophytic mode of nutrition are mushrooms bread molds mushrooms and bread molds are best examples for this saprophytic mode of nutrition and now we will see one more mode of nutrition it is quite different from this saprophytic and parasitic nutrition that is insectivorous type of nutrition there is some plants in this world which consumes the insects for their nitrogenous needs such plants are called insectivorous plants basically these insectivorous plants are autotrophs they can prepare their food but they couldn't get nitrogen from the soil to meet that nitrogenous demand they'll consume the insects and such kind of plants are called insectivores the best example for
बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल पर इंसेक्टिव ओर्स आर नेपेंथस This is also known as picture plant. In this picture plant, the leaf is modified as a picture and the leaf tip is modified as a lid. And this leaf tip attractive in nature by that the insects attracts and traps inside that picture. Later, the lid will be closed and the whatever the insect entered into the picture it get digested by the digestive enzymes and here from that digestive because of that digestive enzymes whatever the nitrogen is present in the insect body it can absorb by the plant to meet their nitrogenous needs this type of special nutrition is called insectivorous nutrition and now we will see the a specific replenishment of nutrients into the soil there is a specific feature in the plant to replenish some of the plants called leguminous plants they have a specific roots specialized roots with a specific structures called root nodules these root nodules have a symbiotic association symbiotic association a mutual association with a bacteria called rhizobium leguminosarum this bacteria invades the roots of leguminous plants and lives in a nodules and these bacteria has a ability to convert the elemental nitrogen into the nitrogenous compounds and these nitrogenous compounds are supplied to the plant in turn the plant provide food and shelter to the bacteria so in this way a beautiful symbiotic association we can observe in between leguminous plants and rhizobium bacteria and in the same way it can be helpful to replenish the elements mineral elements in the soil so in this way the nutrients are replenished in the soil and make the soil fertile now we will see one more beautiful association in the plant kingdom that is lichens it is also a special mode of nutrition but this mode of nutrition when we will see we can see a beautiful association in between a algal partner and a fungal partner algal partner is called phycobiont and fungal partner is called mycobiont and these both they have a mutual association among themselves in the relationship of nutrition the fungal partner absorb moisture from atmosphere and supplies to the algal partner in turn the algal partner prepare the food and provide it to the fungal so it is a mutual beneficial aspect of both algae and fungi and it is a best example for symbiotic relationship so in these modes usually the nutrition occurs in plants